Welcome, welcome to another edition of Dishing with Holly. <laughs> <laughs> if you need a great appetizer, this is winner winner chicken dinner. Or stuffed mushroom dinner. Right. Yes. Because that's what we're doing today with Del Grosso. So awesome. we're gonna kinda take it to a different level. Have you had stuffed mushrooms in your I life? I have had them, but I've never made them. So I'm gonna teach you how to clean a mushroom. Okay. Alright, so grab one of these guys. Okay. This is a wet paper towel. Okay, this All is right. a this is a fun guy. <laughs> See? Sorry. And you just wanna take the dirt off of it. Oh, okay. And take the cap out. And then stick it in the pan. And okay. That's it. All right. That's how easy it is. So if you rinse these under water, it's a little too harsh for the mushroom or, oh, okay. the, or, so or for the fun guy. So yes. And he yes. tends to lose some of his, you know, mushroom. Gotcha. We don't want to take any of the mush off the room. We don't want to take any of the mush off the room. Gotcha. So that's okay. all you do. So if you need a little more way. water on your towel or anything like okay. that, let me know. So put so, those in there. So you want me to keep doing this? Yes. All right. You keep doing that, and then all we're right. gonna make the stuffing. Today we're using Del Grosso's garlic roasted garlic mm. sauce. Sounds awesome. So that's sort of like the star of okay. this recipe. All right. In the bowl, I have chopped black olives. They are pulverized. You can buy them this way. Is the good news. So that oh, makes really? life really easy. Yeah. A little bit of olive oil. It's a couple tablespoons. I am not one, unless I am baking, to use things like teaspoons and Well, that's all because that. you, you, you call upon your Italian ancestors to tell you here's the what, thing. how much you should be using. Well, and with stuffed mushrooms or anything like this, some pine nuts, mm -hmm. some Parmesan, you, you oh, don't, it smells good. You eyeball and you can always add. Okay. With, the, with the recipe, like there's some things where you say, oh, you put too much, you can't take that away, like if you're baking. Right. Right? But with something like this. You I like can, it when you point at me with a knife. <laughs> you can add more and fix it. <laughs> that was garlic right, that I good. just put in here. Okay. I'm going to give this a little stir. All right. And then some salt and some fresh herbs. We've got parsley, we've got basil, we've got thyme. And. Actually, we don't have that much time. We don't. We do have the herb. And <laughs> the herby. All right. The herb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I get real fancy. That usually happens after a glass of red wine in the kitchen. Start saying, <laughs> well, you should always cook no. with wine. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. Do you find that, like, when you and Gina are just at home and, mm -hmm. like, you're in the kitchen and the wine's poured, the dish comes out so much better? I think everything comes out better. Yeah. I really do. I think, I think you know what? You have to enjoy the journey, not the destination. And a lot of times when you're cooking, you're looking at, okay, we need to get this the way it's going. But if you don't enjoy the step by step by step, then you know what? You're, you're missing out. Something is really wrong. That's All exactly right. right. Well, you know what else is right is a pound of Italian sausage <laughs> that just got poured into it's, this that mixture. Looks great. It smells so good already. Yeah. It's bulk sausage, okay. which you can get at any of your local grocery stores. Right. And obviously, we cook this ahead of time. That and all the drippings. Then I've got butter, which I'm going to mix with about a cup of panko. Okay. Butter's melted. You know. The panko will coat the breadcrumb, or you know what I mean, the butter mm -hmm. will seep into here. Now this is another part where, because I've made a lot of stuffed mushroom recipes. I've if never you, done it before. If this you is feel awesome. like this stuff is not binding together because there's no eggs involved or anything. Right, like yeah. That. What what do you do for a so, backup? So more butter. More butter. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it really is the savior of everything. Okay. All right. So look at you. You're doing great. All right. Mushroom boy. <laughs> My fun guy. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So let's put all this over here. Okay. And let's put the star ingredient in the center gotcha. so that we can you show show off how to do this okay. really quick. I'll move the, because the obviously awesome. we have to bake these, so we're gonna be feasting here during the afternoon. Do it like this. Right. Yeah, that's perfect. Now I'm gonna take my jewels off here. Yes, we don't want we don't want a, a prize in my one hand, of the mushrooms. My hands are clean, but <laughs> right. But all you do is you kind of like squish it together. Okay. And then put the filling in each cap, mm -hmm. and then you're probably curious. Well, where does this delicious Maybe. garlic sauce come into play? You're gonna top each mushroom with a dollop of sauce. Beautiful. And then bake. My mushroom overflow. See how that goes? That's perfect. And you want to get the extra large because oh, it smells so good already. If you don't, you wouldn't have anything to stuff. Right. So yeah, make right? sure you get the big ones. 400 degrees. You know what? Guess like what? It's 20 minutes. It's time to it's time to give away. Please. All right. Do so all the honors. You want to win a case of Del Grosso sauce? <laughs> a case of it is yours right now. Third caller is getting it. You'll be making mushrooms into 2020. Yes. 216-578-0707. We will say this when we take your address, we may stop by. 
Okay. No, I mean really, and it's great because they have all these, you know, variations in their right. sauces. Recipes online, wkyc.com slash live on Lakeside. Thank you for your help. Oh my goodness, yes. And this is my point. You make it's memories a, in the kitchen, especially this fun. time of the year. That's what it's all about. We'll be right back. I shall wash my hands. And I'm